As artists and designers, there is tremendous impact in the things that we create and the stories that we tell. You don't design to impress. You design because people are on fire and you might just have the water. There are more than seven billion people on this planet. One billion of them live in slums. There are 105 million people in Bangladesh who are suffering because there is ambulance unavailability. Can fashion and technology empower people with diverse abilities? Since industrialization, Mother Earth is getting warmer. Many people feel powerless in the face of such large-scale change. Roughly two years ago, my cousin's son, Tomas, who is seven years old, is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. These are the current insulin pens on the market. Children have a hard time reaching the release style at the top. They're all designed for an adult's hand. That's when I decide I want to design something for children with type 1 diabetes. 17 million diapers a day end up in dump sites across Europe. A single disposable diaper takes up to 500 years to decompose. One third of this country is awaiting housing in Cuba. And we need to act now. What could inclusive fashion mean? How fashion can be that super powerful to create social change? In Chinese culture, we almost consume every part of the animal. For example, cow stomach or the duck tongues. But I rarely see this cut of meat in the Netherlands. If people are not eating them, where do they go? Children are rarely involved in the design of their products. How would toy design change if children were considered co-designers in the creation of their material culture? I believe that in the future we should consider and we should understand the pedestrian a lot better. And this is a tile that can sense human interaction and it can even vibrate and guide blind people in our urban areas. We have a real opportunity to finally create design that makes people feel better every day. That's why I created VIO. VIO is a more inclusive system of fashion for the blind and visually impaired. So we thought, why not design an ambulance which already have the accessibility in the rural market? At a safe wheel, we provide emergency medical transportation services to the last mile of the country. Tommy is an insulin kit. My main goal here was to find the balance between a medical tool and a toy. I was wondering if design is able to redefine the collective living space, could it set up new boundaries within the collective shared room? As designers, I think it's really our responsibility to design for a community's well-being when we're trying to attack a crisis. I came up with the Sumo diaper, made from 100% skin caring and sustainable sea cell fabric. I want to be a part of creating better products for people with disabilities. So I created Be A Part Of. And Be A Part Of is a sofa for children in wheelchairs. So they can be in the center, surrounded by their loved ones. I spent a year at the School of Visual Arts in a master's program in New York City, investigating how the redesign of rape kits and responses to sexual assault could change the way that we treat victims. Leaves is a sustainable coffin that helps us positively impact the earth after death, but it is also an amazing ritual. For me, a landscape is not just an aesthetic picture, it's also a place where people, communities, plants and animals function together as a system. Reiki is a project that aims to generate sustainable, easy to use, energy generator that takes advantage of the tribal electric effect in trees. For the past four years, I've been looking at the intersection of fashion and technology to create inclusive design wearables for and with people with disabilities. I think design is a really unique career because we have the special ability to affect the way the future looks in a way that other careers cannot. 